My name is Jyoti Saini. I'm a prescribing advisor at Walsall CCG and a clinical pharmacist. And I am Dr. Majid. I'm a GP in Walsall. I think this is a very commonly asked question from our patients. And what we have to realize is this, that the flu jab is to protect you against influenza, which is quite different from the normal winter colds we get. Not many times patients come back and say, well, I had the flu jab, but I still had the you know, runny nose and the cold and everything. And I reassured them that with the winter especially, they are going to get cold and they're going to get, have the cold and cuffs as everyone else would. But this is not influenza. This is normal viral colds that one would happen. Influenza is a quite a strong viral infection that can leave people quite unwell, sick, and even cause complications and admission to the hospital. It's not easier to just have flu. Uh, flu can be dangerous if you have influenza you can be hospitalized. If you have COPD or asthma, then actually you could have worsening of those symptoms due to the fact that you've also got influenza, which means that it will be harder for you to recover. I would agree with Joyti, as she said. Even a normal person, if he gets influenza, um, is quite a strong viral infection and it can leave even normal people quite unwell. Um, having said that, the people who are at risk can get complications much quicker and that can leave them even, even hospitalized. And for that reason, it's not good to have flu because that can be quite um, a debilitating health issue for a number of weeks and it can take a number of weeks for you to recover. If you get influenza, it can spread into community very quickly. If you get influenza, you can pass it on to your family members. If any family members is unwell, they are likely to pick up much more quickly. So it is always better to be protected rather than getting a flu. So getting a flu jab is much more, makes much more sense. So if you feel that you've got flu, we need to establish whether you've actually got influenza or whether you have a common cold. I think if you have a common cold, temperature, cough, runny nose, you can actually self-care uh, and that would mean go to your community pharmacist to purchase paracetamol or any other cough and cold remedies that might actually help you feel better. If you have influenza, I think you would feel much more unwell than that and actually you would need to then seek further medical advice. For young children, there's actually a nasal spray available. So a child doesn't have to have a vaccine. You can be reassured that it's just a puff in the one nostril and a puff in the other nostril. It's painless, it takes a few seconds, and many children have had this without any problem. contains a derivative of gelatin, but that gelatin is actually processed in such a way that actually the, at the end, the product that is contained in the nasal spray on analysis does not show any gelatin, but initially gelatin is used as part of the process in producing this spray, as are many other drugs and medicines that are out already in the market as it stabilizes the virus in the vaccine. Yeah, there, there are um, uh, different kind of views um, from different health belief sectors uh, on this. And some uh, health beliefs are very strict in their beliefs and they would say no gelatin at, at all. But some other ones uh, would argue for the reasons of a medication that is acceptable. So there's a lot of information available on the NHS website about it. Um, what we know is that there is a little gelatin put in this um, nasal spray vaccine, but it has been processed so much and so it, it degrades the identity of the concerned ingredients in it. 
and so many health beliefs um, sectors have actually agreed that it can be taken because there is no alternative to it and so that's the option they can take.